What's she doing home? Jeez, I bet she's baking me a birthday cake. Well, I thought your birthday's next week. It is. She's doing it early to surprise me. She loves surprises. She's got one hell of a one coming. I don't think I can do this, Claudette. You gotta do it sooner or later. I was gonna call her. It's better this way. Trust me. It's always better to do this kind of thing in person. I'm afraid. <laughs> what is she gonna do, kill ya? Come on, Tom, get it over. All right. Here goes nothing. There's something I gotta... I suppose you're wondering what I'm doing home. After all, why would I be home on a Tuesday afternoon? <laughs> well, the truth of the matter is that I just forgot something. I came by to pick it up. Sweetheart. Is that the phone? Yeah? Uh-huh. Right. Claudette at the work site. They need you right away. Well, I guess I'll see you tonight then. Um, about six o'clock, don't be late. Listen to me! I'm leaving you. What? I, I want a divorce. <laughs> Did you hear what I said, <laughs> Maeve? I'm sorry, honey. I really am. I didn't mean to hurt you, but I cannot go on like this. It's not fair to any of us. You, me, Claudette. Maeve, this is serious. <laughs> Maeve! Maeve! You're a boss? I don't believe it. Take it easy. Take it easy! Take it easy! I was begging you a kick, you fuck! Wait a 
was 19 years forever. <laughs> Baby Jesus. Worker? I just don't understand. Miss Ramona, I, I just burned 217 letters just now, and they all said it. Every last one. Tom loves me forever. You just can't believe what you're reading anymore. It was not only letters either. Ever since high school, he's been writing it everywhere. Like he wanted to prove something. He wrote it on picnic tables, on books, and on tree trunks. In the sand. Well, you can't burn sand. <laughs> no, you can't burn the sand. Hey, girl. You who? You who? I'm sorry, Miss Ramona. I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, could I borrow your lighter fluid? Of course, uh, be my guest. <laughs> Thank 
you. After all these years to cause trouble. It's Maeve Granger! So you married that little punk. Oh yeah, you bet I did. Maeve McPherson, stop defacing school property. Yeah, these books need editing. Put that down! Stay where you are, Mr. Knapp. I'm going to report you to Mr. Rule. Mr. Rule died nine years ago. That's it! Mr. Knapp, you've always lived by a strict code of moral conduct. What would you do if you found out someone lied to you? I'd report him to Mr. Rule!
Hey, hon, it's me. Can you keep it in the oven, honey? Okay, then forget it. I'll, I'll put it in the nuker when I get in. Over here! Over here! I have no idea. It's not my fault. Look, the chief says nobody goes home until we find out who's behind this sudden rash of vandalism. No. I don't know. All right, I'll try. Oh, I said I'll try. The first 12 and a half years were great. Then I don't know what happened. I'm just not in love with her anymore. I mean, I still love her. I'm just not Hello? in love with her. You get me? No. Hey, Tom, you better go find your wife. Was that her? Nah, the cops calling to say she's gone berserk. Starting fires, landslides, destroying the town. She was last seen headed for Greeley Forest. Jeez Louise! Oh. Unstable. She's always been unstable. Maeve! Come out, we won't hurt you! Even back in high school. Maeve! Are you gonna help me or what? I never should have dated her, let alone married her. Then why did you? It was stupid. The stupidest thing in the world. I was madly in love with her. What's so stupid about that? <laughs> My parents were against it. They wanted me to go away to school. Instead, I got hitched. I did two years at Dutchess Community College. Oh, the child bridegroom, they call me. What can I say? I was young, young and dumb. Well, talking about it now won't help anything. <laughs> Can't wipe out in a day what took years to create. Oh. I had no idea you were such a whiner. I am not a whiner. Hey! What? Did you hear something? Oh! 